May deets, as you can see. May, April, May, June, you know. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm from Benson, right? I'm a freshman. Okay, yeah, and this is my poem, Dear Anonymous. When you hugged me, my heart started racing. No guy ever made me feel the way I felt about you. Then you started to hit me, pushing and slamming my head into the lockers. I then learned it was just a game. Just a game, he said, but it's holding me down, kissing and touching me against my will. Just a game? No, not to me it wasn't. Paralyzed with fear, too afraid to tell anyone but about what you were doing to me. Walking home every day with tears rolling down my blood red cheeks. Why was I so stupid falling for someone like you? Eighth grade, I tried to stay away from you. Tried to live life normally, but couldn't. You told me that you would never do it again, and I trusted you. Why? Why, I asked myself, am I still trusting in others? December 4th, 2012. You called me on the phone, threatening to tell the school that I was a whore, not capable of having anyone love me. December 5th, 2012. I let you follow me home. The entire time praying for God to stop what was about to happen, for someone to come home. It didn't happen. You stripped me of everything I was. Now look at me, truly look at me. My eyes should show you just exactly how much pain you put me through. You were still there when my brother and sister got home. I was going to scream, but yeah, I didn't. You told me to get you out of there safely without getting caught, and I did what you asked me to do. A couple minutes after you left, I broke down crying. The shock of what just happened finally hit me. I lied to the cops about who raped me. I didn't know why I lied. Maybe it was because even after all the pain and suffering you put me through, I still loved you. But at the same time, I still hated you. I never told anyone the true story until a couple weeks ago. And I admitted to myself that yes, I was still in love with you even though I didn't know why. You were never once caught or punished for what you did to me. And I'm still deciding whether or not I want you to go through the pain you put me through. I'm just not the kind of person who likes to see people in pain. Even if it was your fault, I went through all that. I needed to release so much pain held deep inside my mind, heart, and soul. All the people I've ever cared about abandoned me like I was nothing but spit in the dirt. You abandoned me too, yet I still want to be with you. It has taken me so long to say these words that I don't think anyone will ever understand how I feel. Some may call me stupid for feeling this way, but I just can't help it. I love you. Damn it, why do I love you? Because of you, I cut myself, thinking the only release to my pain was to see the blood run free from my veins, but I was wrong. Again. I'm tired of feeling this way, a prisoner of words unsaid. I went from cutting myself to cutting on my future to what? Second guessing myself that I'm all right, that I'm okay, because I'm not, and I'll never be. No amount of therapy or happy pills is going to stop me from feeling this way. I think it's time to cut all that pain out. But how? By no more practicing unhappiness? By telling myself that I love myself no matter how I feel about you. Thank you.